Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So we've got a very important video today. You guys are going to want to stick around for this one, maybe even take a seat. Because I have been doing this for about 12 years now here on YouTube. And in that 12 years, I've reported quite a bit on California firearms laws and legislation. And at this point, it, nothing really surprises me anymore. Whenever you talk about California, you know it's going to be over the top. It's going to be something outrageous, something that no other state has ever thought of before. And that's just kind of what you would expect. But this, this takes that to a whole new level. I mean, we're talking about a whole new ball game. We have a major California city that is essentially eliminating the, sep the Second Amendment. And they're doing it in a way that is kind of backdoor and sneaky. So we need to talk about what's going on, what city this is, and what they're planning. So stay tuned. Now, before we get started, I want to tell you a little bit about today's sponsor, which is Delete Me. Delete Me is an amazing service that will allow you to get your online privacy back. Believe it or not, there are data brokerage sites out there whose sole focus it is to gather, sell, and distribute your personal data. So what is Delete Me and how does it help? Well, Delete Me is a company that cares about your personal privacy. And so what they do is they collect your information and they scour the internet and search those data brokerage sites to remove your personal information. Now, I personally have a Delete Me account. As a matter of fact, I've been using their services since December of 2023. And in that time, they have scanned 111,000 and 56 listings and remove my information from 44 different brokers. Now, one of my favorite things to do with my Delete Me account is actually check out the online dashboard. From there, you will find all of the relevant information that you need from the number of listings that were scanned, how many times your information popped up on a data brokerage site, what type of information popped up from your age, your address, your name. It will break everything down for you so that you can see how Delete Me is working effectively for you. So if your online privacy is important to you like it is to me, make sure you join Delete Me. You can use the link down below to save 20% or use the discount code COPPERJACKET. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about what's going on here. So this is starting to get some major coverage now. I've seen some pretty big outlets start to pick this up, and rightly so. If you know anybody that this might affect, please make sure that you share this out uh, on your social media. But basically what we have in California is a state that already has uh, more firearms related laws than any other state in the country with over a hundred on the books and every single year new laws get signed. But what we're starting to see as a trend is that the cities and counties now are starting to implement their own ordinances which further infringe on people's constitutional rights. And some cities in California, uh, populations range in the millions. I mean, absolutely huge. The population of California is, is massive. So even when just a city implements something, it affects a lot of people. In this case, we're talking about over 600,000. So the city that we're talking about today is Sacramento, the California state capital. Now, this is something that was sparked by the mayor. The mayor wants to see this happen, and it was picked up by the city council. Now, this has already passed through their legal committees and whatnot, and is ready for a vote. And if this goes through, you could see this actually take effect 30 days after the city council votes on it, or maybe even January 1st, of 2025, so coming up right around the corner. So what are they proposing? Let's talk about it. So like I was saying before, it's the mayor of Sacramento, Daryl Steinberg and Councilwoman Lisa Kaplan that are spearheading these new ordinances. There's four major bullet points uh, that they're trying to do here. Now, the first one is something that we've seen tried before in San Jose, which is adding liability insurance as a must have, meaning that in order to own anything in the city of Sacramento, again, home to over 600,000 people, you have to have some form of liability insurance. And we're not talking about carry insurance like the different companies out there offer. We're talking about full fledged liability insurance that would pay somebody else if something happens. And I, to my knowledge, I don't think there's anybody out there that covers anything like that. I could be wrong on that case, but still, that's a monthly premium that you're gonna have to pay for that insurance. Now, it's the next one that really caught me off guard, and that is this new harm reduction fee, which basically imposes a $25 per firearm fee to be paid annually, and then that money collected would then go to fund 
uh, gun violence prevention research programs. So essentially a $25 fee per, uh, and then that would be collected annually and it would go to create even more laws like this that infringe on your rights. Uh, to me, that, that's about as absurd as you can get. Now, the other two things to me are just as absurd, but they don't necessarily eliminate your rights because the other two, if you fail to have the insurance, you're not allowed to have your right within the city of Sacramento. Uh, if you don't pay that fee, you no longer have your rights in the city of Sacramento. And there are penalties to all of these and the penalties can be pretty severe. Now, the next one is gonna be the fact that you will no longer be able to bring a minor into an FFL. That, that'll be over. So if they're under 18 years old, they're no longer even allowed to enter the building. That would be off limits if this city ordinance passes. And from everything that I'm seeing, from the reports that I've seen in Sacramento Bee and otherwise, uh, it looks like this is something that could actually pass, which is astonishing, but again, it is California. Now, the next one is they are wanting to eliminate, or this would eliminate any home-based businesses. So any home-based business, you run something out of your home, uh, that would be gone. You wouldn't be able to do that in Sacramento anymore. It, they would be eliminated under this. So again, you have those four things, uh, home-based businesses eliminated, uh, 18 or younger eliminated, uh, the uh, $25 fee uh, insurance, all of that stuff not done on the state level but done on the city level through a city council if you live in sacramento uh, and you have access to be able to email or call your representative uh who's there in in, in your city council oh man i uh, there's never been a better time to let them know that you oppose something than there is right now the only way that this is going to stop before it would actually take effect is if you do that, if you make your voice heard. You have a right to go to these city, city council meetings when they talk about this stuff and they debate this stuff. Uh, you can be there and you can let them know that you oppose it. If there's no opposition and people don't show up and they don't oppose this stuff, then they think that, hey, the population is just fine with it. But with the population in one city of over 600,000, that that's going to affect a ton of people and that's what makes it such a big deal not to mention the fact that you're you're also talking about that kind of spreading within the state right if you have san jose that's implementing uh, ordinances like this and then you allow sacramento to have ordinances like this it's only a matter of time before you see uh, los angeles and anaheim and other places start to implement the exact same thing. It will just become a city issue and the state can pretty much lean back and just let the cities do what they want. And you know, lawsuits will have to be filed against the state, lawsuits will have to be filed against the city and all of these you know, uh, organizations that are out there trying to preserve our rights are gonna be stretched even thinner. So it's best to stop these now. And I wanted to let you know about that. Again, you know, share this out there, let people know about it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you all very much. Have a great day.